Welcome to this video. This will be exercise 8 in the labor practice part. So let's get started by working on the YZ plane, which will be here, and we'll activate a sketch. As always, I'll grab my line tool and pay attention to whatever automatic constraints come up, because they make um, sketching so much easier. I'll use a tangent arc here. It just helps to Keep a tangent relationship automatically. And again, drawing out the basic profile of the side of my part. From here, I'll add a horizontal on my last line. And a horizontal here. And we should be ready to dimension. We'll give this a radius of 50. I would like from here to here to be 170, from here to here to be 290, from here to here to be 70, from here to here to be 60, and we'll do 30 as a vertical dimension here. We'll add an equal relation and make sure that from here to here is equal. And then we'll probably want to assign a height from here to here. We'll go with 100. We're fully constrained. We'll want to extrude this now and we'll do a mid plane extrusion. Grab this to mid plane and give this a distance of 100. And then from here, we'll select a face and activate a 2D sketch. I'd like to uh, simply import an edge. So we'll create a reference figure here with maintained association. We'll grab a circle and select simply two points from that. And we're fully constrained. Likewise, we can add a reference dimension if we wish, just to make sure that we are the correct 100 millimeters in diameter, but again, that's just a reference dimension. We're able to constrain it from the pre-existing geometry. So we'll deactivate the sketch, extrude, and we'll give this an extrude distance of 10. And then I can simply mirror this across the YZ plane to save me from doing another extrusion. Uh, I want to add a hole, so I'll simply select this face. I can also select a face in the center if I wish. We'll project a reference figure of this edge with maintained association. And let's grab a circle, give it a dimension of 60, deactivate, extrude cut through all. Next, I think I'd want to select my YZ plane and activate a sketch. We'll project and we'll create a sketch figure. We'll import here with maintained association and we'll say okay to that. I'll import a reference figure of this circle with maintained association. Then I can simply use my line tool to insert a vertical line there and there. We'll make sure with the constraint that this is vertical. Next, I'll choose a horizontal relation and make sure that this point is horizontal with its center. And then I should give this line a dimension of 90. Next, looks like I still need to make this horizontal. And there we go. After that, I'll grab an arc and draw an arc from here to here. So we should have a full sketch. Let's deactivate it. And now let's do an extruded cut. And we want this to be mid-plane, a distance of 50. And then next thing, let's work on adding a fillet. We'll grab from here to here. Fillet edges that will be radius of 30. And then after that, we'll also want to add some holes. Whoop, didn't mean to fill it there. 
<laughs> we'll do uh, some holes here and here. And of course, when we talk about doing holes, we'll add an equal constraint. Uh, we want to dimension the holes in the ways that they are critical, right? So maybe I have a mating part that's going to utilize these holes, and we want to measure relative to this edge, right? We want to measure where things are important for uh, good quality purposes. Let's give this hole a diameter of 25. We'll add a vertical and relative to the origin, we'll make sure that our circles are vertical. Likewise, I can add a dimension relative to the origin on this circle center and it will be a distance of 30. We'll deactivate extrude cut and we can say to depth or through all. Next we'll want to do some final fillets. Uh, so I'd like to do a distance of 25 on these corners. And finally, I ought to do a distance of 10, or radius is probably a better way of saying it, from here to here. So fill a radius of 10 on these and radius of 25 on these outer edges. We'll close that. And I believe that we are complete on exercise number eight. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next exercise.